Hi, we are from AS1153A, which are Angelina Elisa and Judy Cassandra. So, we want to present an experiment that conducted analytical chemistry, which is experiment 12, gravimetric analysis of phosphorus in plant food. The objective of this experiment is to determine the content percent of phosphorus in plant food through gravimetric analysis. What is gravimetric analysis? It is a quantitative method that is based on finding out the mass of the compound to which the analyte is chemically related. In this experiment, the analyte is selectively converted to an insoluble precipitate where the precipitate is then dried and accurately weighed. Gravimetric analysis is considered as one of the most accurate methods of chemical analysis. And here are the procedure for this experiment. A plant food sample was obtained and the set of numbers written on the label was recorded. The plant food sample was weighed around 3 grams using a weighing paper and it was transferred into a 250 ml beaker. Then about 40 ml of distilled water was poured into the beaker. The mixture was still with glass rod to dissolve the sample. However, the sample does not dissolve completely. Therefore, a filtration was conducted to remove the insoluble material. To filtrate, about 40 ml of 10% magnesium sulfate heptahydrate and 100 ml of 2 mol ammonia was poured into the solution slowly. A wet precipitate of magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate was formed. At room temperature, the mixture was let to sit for 10 minutes to complete the precipitation. A filter paper weighed accurately. Then, the paper was folded and fitted into a filter funnel. The paper was weighed with distilled water to hold it in place in the funnel. The precipitate was transferred carefully and all the solution from the beaker onto the filter paper. The precipitate washed by adding 2 to 3 times of 5 ml portions of distilled water to the beaker. Then, the precipitate was rinsed once again with 2 10 ml portions of 75% isopropyl alcohol through the filter paper. After that, the filter paper was removed and placed on a label porcelain evaporating dish and stored to dry for 24 hours in the oven at 60 degrees Celsius. When the magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate was truly dry, the filter paper and the magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate weighed. The mass was recorded and the percentage phosphorus in the original sample was calculated. So here are the results that we obtained from this experiment. First of all, the name of the plant food that we use is humus and the percent of phosphorus that content written on the label is 8% and of course the initial mass that we use from this food plant sample is 3 gram. The main objective of this experiment is that we want to find the phosphorus percent content inside the sample. So to know that we should find the final mass of ammonium magnesium phosphate by knowing the weight of filter paper, so we get the final mass of ammonium magnesium phosphate. To find the phosphorus percent content, we should find the mole of phosphorus first by using the final mass of ammonium magnesium phosphate that we obtained earlier. After that, we should find the mole of phosphorus pentoxide by using the mole of phosphorus and multiply it with one mole of phosphorus pentoxide over two mole of phosphorus and then we get the mole of phosphorus pentoxide. Use the number of mole of phosphorus pentoxide that we calculated earlier to find the mass of phosphorus pentoxide. We multiply the mole with molar mass of phosphorus pentoxide and we should be getting the, the mass of phosphorus pentoxide. With the mass that we obtained, we substitute it into the formula to 
find the percent content of a first pentocyte inside this sample. And then we should be getting 11.36% of phosphorus pentocyte. However, our results might be different from the actual first pentocyte content that was written on the label. So we can use this formula to find the percent error. So the percent error we got is 42%. To sum up, the experiment was conducted to determine the content percent of phosphorus in plant food through gravimetric analysis. In order to find both mole of phosphorus and phosphorus pentocyte, gravimetric analysis was used and also the mass of magnesium and medium phosphate. From this experiment, we have obtained one mole of magnesium and medium phosphate from the precipitation of the insoluble salt which is magnesium and medium phosphate hexahydride. Next, we also have find the mole of phosphorus and phosphorus pentoxide which are 0.0047 mole and 0.0024 mole. Now, we can easily calculate the percent weight over weight by knowing the mass of phosphorus pentoxide from the amount of mole obtained. Therefore, the mass of phosphorus pentoxide is 0.3408 gram. Hence, the percent weight over weight of phosphorus pentoxide is 11.36%. However, there might be error value of 8 from phosphorus pentoxide. In this experiment, the value error is 42%. In conclusion, we can find the content percent of phosphorus and plant food through gravimetric analysis. Thank you for watching!